804 right now. The Daniel K. Akaka ALA Hawaii Food Show is happening right now. It's where you can find thousands of products made from local companies. Dallas and Tavares joins us live from the Prince Waikiki with all your tasty details. Good morning, Dallas. Good morning, Christian Ross. Oh, yes, it just started a few minutes ago, and it smells delicious. Not only the foods, but the opportunity it has. And here to tell us more about it, we have Sharon Zombo Fan, who is the ALA Hawaii Show Chairperson. Good morning, Sharon. Good morning, and thank you for joining us this morning. We're it, excited. I'm excited, too. I mean, we haven't had breakfast yet, and seeing all these different types of foods, it just makes you so curious on what we have to offer here. Absolutely. We have 69 local companies presenting items that are either made in Hawaii, unique to Hawaii or exclusive for distribution that they're going to present to over 85 buyers today to be sold, hopefully to be sold in the commissaries and exchanges. And there's buyers already here already? There are buyers here. They're on premise, yes. Okay, so when it comes to this show, tell us how big the opportunity is when it comes to these vendors and these buyers. What happens to their goods? Well, if their items are approved into the commissary and exchanges, they'll be sold here locally within a week to 30 days. It's big business because the commissaries, four commissaries do over $200 million annually. You've got the top commissary here in the state. Navy Exchange, they do over $300 million. It's wonderful. It's big business for local companies here. And what does that give to military families when they see some of the products at the stores? Oh, they get to have some of the best local products that are normally sold outside the gate in the commissary at a savings. And it's it's really nice because it's sort of that taste of home, especially it, when families are really far from us. It is, and some of our companies have gone worldwide, so you can buy their teriyaki sauces not just here in Hawaii, but at any commissary in the world. It's wonderful. So let's try one of these samples here. What do we have okay. here? We're going to try the Eva sweet corn and kombucha chowder. Have you had this one yet? I've had it before, and I will tell you it's absolutely wonderful. Okay, okay. go ahead. I'm so going to just start this down. Mm -hmm. Mmm, that's wonderful. It's delicious? <laughs> delicious. Okay, I'm going to get a scoop of this too. Mm -hmm. All right, actually, I might just skip the spoon. Mmm, chowder for breakfast. That I love it. Wonderful. You can't, can't, go can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. Sharon, what other items stick out to you right now? You know, we've got a new a yogurt company called Coco Kai. We've got a pop culture. We've got Diamond Head Seafood Company. We've got lots of wonderful things here. New sauces, lots of things to try. Jerky, venison, everything. All right, well, we're going to make our way over here to Bill Moore. He's the director and CEO of Defense Commissary Agency. Good morning, Bill. How's it going? Oh, it's going great. It's going great. How does it feel, first of all, to just see so many people interacting after a tough three years that we have been with this pandemic? It has been a tough three years, but I mean, our benefit exists for military families in improving their lives by selling groceries cheaper to them. And we try to balance national products with local products, and we do, we do it best here in Hawaii because of things like the uh, Daniel Akaki Food Show where we can, you know, meet these local vendors and bring their products to our shelves. When's the last time the food show was held here at the Prince Waikiki? Well, you know, I've only been in the job two years. It, it, this is the first one I've been to, so, uh, but I think it was held three, just before COVID hit. Yeah. And I, so I'd, I'd say 2019 was probably the last year it was held. This is actually the 25th uh, annual food show. So it's, uh, you know, it's a wonderful event and it, and it gives these local companies their opportunity to meet with our buyers. You, you I think, talked to some of our buyers already. Yeah. But and then they present their case. And uh, and you know, I want to sell anything that does sell on our shelves for our for our patrons. Well, Bill, I'm just excited the fact that this is your first time here, so you're yeah. going to see all these different local products. So, what really stands out to you so far when in, when there's comparison to other products that are found at the at the different locations? Well, you know, we're committed to bring to bringing fresh and healthy options to our patrons. And so, local products, when we see these local produce companies or meat companies, and I am really interested in trying to get those to the shelves. Mm -hmm. That dietary uh, restrictions uh, focus and also that nutrition right. focus is definitely really popular. So, yeah, yeah. Bill, we're happy. Organics, ha too. Organics, too. Yeah. Good point. Bill, we're excited that you're here. And we will be coming up in the next half hour with more details on what you need to know. But until then, reporting from the Prince Waikiki, Dallas Navarro's K22 News, working for Hawaii. All right, thanks so much, Dallas.
So many products to try. At this mm -hmm. time of the year when they have that show, it's just one of those things like, mm, sample, sample. It's, a, it's, it's not for the public, though. It's yeah, for like, for the yeah. yes, it's for, so the, the vendors go and showcase and hopefully get selected to be showcased in commissaries um, worldwide. And there have been some really good local companies that have been selected. So maybe we'll get to hear more about that from Dallas in the next segment. I saw Koha Foods. They got some tasty treats. <laughs> All right, coming up next, scammers are at it again, this time targeting kids as they head back to school. We'll have the warning from the Better Business